So, I said in the last video that this kind of thing has popped up quite a few times, so we are making two videos that are exactly the same, but focusing on different players because I can, and it's my show, and I can do what I want, and this also caters to a different fan base, so it kind of, you know, makes sense to talk about this here. But in the last video, we talked about Slovakia captain Tomasz Tatar speaking out about Juraj Slavkovsky. In this video, we're talking about a Swedish player, not the captain per se, but a player going out there and talking about one of the better Red Wings young guys on the team. And it all comes to us in the form of this article. So of course, you know who it is we're talking about. Today we're talking about Lucas Raymond. And if you head over to this piece made on NHL.com by Aaron Vickers from two days ago, the article is titled this, Lucas Raymond is tasked to keep driving the pace for the Red Wings next season. The forward is gaining recognition on the international stage for Team Sweden in the World Championships. Now, before we dive into the comments here and what is said about Raymond by one of the best defensemen in the entire NHL, let's go out there with the update as to Raymond and his performance. So far in the World Championships, Lucas Raymond's got two goals in three games played for Team Sweden against the Americans as well as the Polish. He didn't have any points in the team's 6-1 win over the Germans, although he did have the most ice time out of his entire stint here so far. So, Lucas Raymond is being utilized like a top-tier guy. He has been scoring goals, and the 5-2 win against the Americans, actually, I'd say, was the more impressive showcase from this Swedish squad. And unlike the Uri Slavkovsky video that we had just made, Sweden has a much deeper team than Slovakia. Unfortunate as it is to say, I mean, the majority of the team is all NHL players, Lucas Raymond isn't even near the top in points, Eric Carlson is an absolute monster, not to mention everybody else underneath that. I mean, look at that decor. Carlson, Hedman, Darlene. Ay ay ay, it's a tough day for anybody going out there and going up against the Swedes. Not to mention Jonas Brodeen, who is also on the team too. But if you go back to the article on NHL.com, it goes out there and talks about how Lucas Raymond has led the Red Wings in scoring with 72 points in 82 games for this season, and how he's hoping to elevate his game further to help squash a Stanley Cup playoffs drought that has extended into its eighth season. I think coming into this year, I was made not as satisfied with my last year as I wanted to be, Raymond said from the 2024 World Championship in Czechia where he's representing Sweden. I felt good. I think just getting a year older, when you're more mature, on and off the ice, I think that really helped a lot. Just getting the experience, getting to know your body and mind, it felt good. It was a good step. And I think a lot of Red Wings fans would admit that yeah, Raymond was one of the guys that you could say, you want to talk about most improved? Yeah, no, it's not even like Raymond was bad, quote-unquote, last year, but from last year to this year, the guy just took his game to another level. New heights being accomplished here by Lucas Raymond. He's so good, so skilled, and bringing more of that clutch factor to his game. The guy's gonna get a lot of money by the time his next contract is signed. This article then goes over some comments made by teammates of his, like Jeff Petrie, for example, for Team USA. I just look at the stretch run we had had fighting for the playoffs, said Jeff Petrie, who was representing Team USA. He stepped up big time for us. He was competing every night. He was driving the pace of our team. I think he took some big steps last season. There's a long way to go. He's a very talented player that's just scratching the surface, and there's going to be a lot of talent coming out of him. But the thing is, in this article, there is a comment made, or two, by one of the best darn defensemen in the entire world who happens to be Raymond's teammate on Team Sweden. Take a look at what Victor Hedman had to say about Raymond. It's tough to play against him. He had a phenomenal year, carried the trend in his back, it felt like. It's great to have him on our side, get to know him a little bit, and see up close all the skill that he has. According to Hedman, who won the Norris Trophy as the NHL's best defenseman in 2018, Raymond has become a topic of discussion in pre-scouting meetings prior to facing the Red Wings. 100%, Hedman said, that's just common knowledge. When you go against top players like that, you emphasize playing tough against him. It's just fun to go and see him out there and execute plays. 
Now, I know that's not like the biggest thing in the world. Oh yeah, wow, big surprise. Other teams go out there and talk about Raymond before they play off against Raymond. Wow, amazing. It's like pre-scouting is a brand new thing, right? No, I get it. You know, this is common for NHL teams to scout their opposing top players, and Raymond certainly is one of the top players in the wings now, but just hearing it out of Victor Hedman's mouth, you know, one of the best defensemen of our generation. He's been in the spotlight playing off against tough opponents and tough top competition for years now, winning Stanley Cups against many of these guys. So to see him put that respect in Lucas Raymond's name, it's kind of nice. It also speaks to the importance of Raymond, a pending RFA, has on Detroit's future as part of a core that also features Dylan Larkin and Moritz Sider. I think, you look at the young guys we do have, he's the main part of that, Detroit's Jeff Petrie said. You get Larkin, Mo, and him, and those two forwards drive the pace and bring guys along. That's what a good team needs. The article then goes over Lucas Raymond going over to Team Sweden at the Worlds. He says it's special for sure. It means a lot. I think a lot of guys take pride in representing their country, and to be able to wear an A is a good feeling. Because yeah, he does have the A on his sweater, he's an alternate captain alongside the leadership group, including guys like Eric Carlson, so lots of good names here on this Swedish team. This character trait, though, did not go unearned. According to Victor Hedman, he says that Lucas Raymond deserves to have an A. He plays with his heart in his sleeve, he's coming up, he's got a big contract coming up, and he was really pushing for this. We're super excited about having him here, he really wanted to be here, and he deserves that. The article then concludes by saying when his experience in helping Sweden ends, Raymond hopes to be a part of the solution for getting the Red Wings back into the playoffs for the first time since 2015-16. I'm going to try and score even more, I guess, Raymond said. No, I'm still young, I'm still developing my body, the physical aspect is one point, just growing there. I want to keep developing my shot and my skating. I still feel I have a lot of time to develop and improve. So, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read the rest of this article. There is a little bit extra in there, but I did think it was awesome to see Victor Hedman, of all people, go out there and extend some major props to Lucas Raymond. Mostly because, for one, I feel like Hedman is in that sort of aura of guys where he's been so successful and so good for so long that... Anything that he says, I kind of take a little bit more seriously than guys who are not on the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, the comments that had been made a few years ago saying about Philip Broberg, for example, yeah, I see that guy as the next me. He reminds me of myself. Like, things like that. I think there's a lot of weight to them, especially since Victor Hedman, of all people, is one of the best defensemen of our generation. And come on, we rarely get opportunities to see him talk about younger guys like this because... Hey, the guy's almost never at the World Championships. The Lightning are always so far into the playoffs that there's no opportunity for any of their guys to make an impact on these international tournaments. So, to see Hedman finally here for the first time in a while, and to see him wax poetic about Lucas Raymond, that's a pretty good, fun sign. So, Raymond... We'll talk about his maturity as the years go on, we'll talk about his leadership, we'll talk about the extended point production, and whether or not these will carry the Red Wings into the promised land as the future comes and goes. What are your thoughts about the way Raymond has played so far at the tourney? What are your thoughts about how Team Sweden has fared so far? Eric Carlson is getting so many gosh darn points, it's not surprising, but man oh man is that guy talented. But the rest of the team, pretty good too undefeated so far at the time of recording this audio. I know there are some games going on before this video will be public on YouTube, so who knows what's going to happen here. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Lucas Raymond and the way that he's played so far in this tourney. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.